It's Winter's Day in Guild Wars 2. And that means snow and presents and a toy maker who's going to travel the world with uh, to hand out toys to young children. It also means really annoying snow ball mini games, but the less said about that, the better. I'm sure it'd be fun if I was any good at it, but. Ah. See? Um, so, we're in Lion's Arch, and just as a warning, there's events going on for Christmas, and the frame rate is basically through the floor. You're looking at sub 20, certainly, um, sometimes even sub 10 frames a second. It's annoying, but, you know, that's Lion's Arch. Lion's Arch runs badly at the best of times, but put an event in there. They have done a very good job with decoration, so it's very pretty and it's snowing. And, you know, it's worth travelling the world. And more than that, Tix is actually there, the toy maker. And the developers have put in a few mini games for you to enjoy over the Christmas holiday. Um, the first is Toy Apocalypse. And that lets you. It's, it's kind of like a. Um, uh, you have to protect um, the. Uh, there's that kind of oxen while uh, different waves of enemies attack. Think of it a bit like um, a bit like that mode that's in Gears of War and Halo and Call of Duty in more or less every shooter ever. You've just got lots of waves of monsters. Some are hard, some are easy. And some pretty cool weapons, by the way. Didn't think I'd be attacking with a candy cane when I logged into the servers yesterday, but I can't say I'm disappointed. Again, I've got to take my hat off to the developers, to ArenaNet, because honestly, I absolutely love these little... the location. Uh, there's snow everywhere. Um, I don't think you see it in the video, but there's a uh, little toy... oh yeah, over the back there. There's little toy uh, villages. And it's just really nice. It put me in the Christmas spirit straight away. Not that it takes much this close. There's different sorts of uh, enemies. There's smaller enemies. There's bigger enemies. There's enemies that are just midget versions of the enemies you've been fighting throughout the game. There's little toy soldiers. There's all sorts. It's really good fun. Definitely worth checking out. The other, uh, the other level is um, it's it's more of a I wouldn't say it's a single player thing, but um, you know, again, you've got a quite a beautiful location. Um, the developers have obviously put quite a bit of effort in, and you have to fight these. Uh, they're called, I believe, oil elementals. And they are difficult. You'll get surrounded by these things. There'll probably be three or four. And you do not want to go at it alone. Because they're difficult. But you should check them out anyway. Because it's Christmas and it's good fun. Uh, check out our 3D video if I ever get it to work. And... Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week, as usual.